to pull to go where no celebrity has gone before, Mars. If I could walk around Atlanta, I could walk around in Mars. Try me, alien. It's the final countdown. You will embark on a daring mission. I have no idea what I'm doing. Wow. Welcome back to DBL. That was a clip from the new show Stars on Mars. Earlier, we spoke with the man who runs Mission Control, William Shatner. Take a look. Please welcome back to DBL, William Shatner. Hello, sir. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello. Now, before we begin, William, you'll notice my because co-host, before, Al. Before we begin, I love that phrase. <laughs> well, here's the thing. He's wearing pink in honor of you, because the last time you were on our show, we had this whole conversation about men in pink. Why are you wearing a red <laughs> handkerchief in your <laughs> restaurant? It's, it's pink. pink. It's pink. It's pink. And it goes with my... Lavender. Lavender shirt. <laughs> I've never understood why, uh, wh how pink looks good on a man. Uh, and now I understand. And now you understand. So yeah. there you have it. What do you think of his outfit today? But you see, he looks great. Oh, because <laughs> the gray suit, the gray suit, the, the gray sh shirt, and the pink like stands out. Mm -hmm. like yes, a sir. Tongue. It looks like your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I want to talk to you about Stars on Mars. Now, yeah. new, your new show sends stars to a make-believe Mars. So tell me, what is the scariest thing about this experience? You will embark on a daring mission. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh. Mars. Flying 25 hours to the outback of Australia to a place called Cooper Pedy, which is quite famous, actually, for people who are interested in opals. Being in the outback and living inside the earth, they claw out rooms uh, with the machinery now. They used to dig them by hand and make them look like bedrooms, you know, with a bed in it and maybe a fan. And, but it's inside the earth because that's the only place that's livable in the outback of Australia. And it turns out that that's where it's going to be in uh, Mars. We're going to have to claw out uh, caves in Mars to allow human beings to live there with any equanimity. Wow. Uh -huh. that is, that, that's quite the undertaking. Yes. <laughs> so you've actually been to space. So I got to know, at 92 years young, do you have a bucket list? And if you do, what's the craziest thing on it? Or was that the craziest thing on it? My bucket list is... Uh, to take a deep breath in the morning and realize I'm still alive. Oh, okay. Hey. Hey, you're not that's, going that's anywhere. Me too. I just, you know, like I get up and go, oh yeah, it's, I didn't die in my sleep. I think that's what everybody should do. I know. Yeah, be that's happy you're here and go and at you know it again. What that does, it's exactly right. What that does is you say, wow, I'm glad to be yeah. alive. Amen. And look around me, look at my fingers, look at my relationships, look at the sky, look at that piece of bread. Aww. That's right, that's a man that Beautiful. appreciates his life. I, I love know. it. Well said. Um, okay, so I gotta talk about Star Trek. You can't mention Star Trek without you as Captain Kirk, but before it became a hit, a lot of actors saw science fiction as the death of their career. Why didn't you see it that way? Thank God you did it. Blast regulations, Mr. Spock. I order you to assume command on my personal authority as captain of the Enterprise. Wow, that's an interesting question. That used to be the case whereby if you did a series, it took you years to come back because the producers all thought that the audience would think of you as that character. And then as I understand it, Steve McQueen did a, a series of, he did a Western thing, right? But when it was done, he did a movie, I think maybe that motorcycle movie, and he became a big star. And in that instant, everything changed. And actors said, no, nah, I got to do series to do movies. Well, and a lot of shift of the pop culture, too, the idea that th that was the transition, so to speak. And let's talk about that in terms of pop culture, because a lot of our viewers loved you on TJ Hooker. And I read that you did a lot of your own stunts on the show. So did you ever hurt yourself doing those infamous hood slides? All <laughs> the time. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like a linebacker on a on, in the NFL. I'd have bruises all the time, everywhere. Pulled muscles, you know. It, it became a joke actually uh, that I was trying not to limp. 
Jeez. Was there ever like a stunt you turned down? Like, I, look, I know we need it for the scene, but I'm not crashing through that window. Was there anyone you said, I'm not doing that? No, uh, that would be uh, losing face in, in front of the most important audience, which was the crew. There was a movie that I did where I had to stand on top of a uh, diesel engine that was, it was supposed to go 40 miles an hour. So the stuntman did it at 40 miles an hour, and he was leaning into the wind, so his body was like an airfoil. So his feet would come off the train, off the surface of the engine, and they shot, shot it a long shot. And then I said to the director, how are you going to do that in close-up? He said, well, I don't know. <laughs> I said, well, maybe I could try it. Uh, maybe we could go at 10 miles an hour, and it would look. So he said, let's try that. So I got up on the engine, and we shot it. And I said, how did it look? He said, it looked like you were going 10 miles an hour. <laughs> well, let's try it at 20. And Ooh. 20 looked like we ended up doing it at 40 miles an wow. hour. It was an airfoil and around a curve. And when I saw the footage, when I saw the film, I thought, how idiotic <laughs> it was of me to attempt to do that. And and looking at some of this, uh, the T.J. Hookers, I think, how idiotic of me. What is this macho thing that I was trying to do? Well, it looks well, like Tom, what, pa Tom Cruise took a page from his book. That's right. And your crew <laughs> saw, it, saw him do it. And they were like, that's a leader of men right there. I All right. Know. We're going we're gonna <laughs> to ride out. A man of your craft. DBL Nation, you can watch Stars on Mars airing on Fox on June 5th. William, thank you so much. We appreciate you. you. Congrats on everything. We'll be right back. Come back thank soon, you. man. Thank you. Thanks.